kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to another fan fiction video. I guess I'm really, really into these fan fictions, honestly, guys. Personally, guys, these uh, fan fictions are a little, um, you know, I, I've been, I just really want to do some fan fictions. I want to take some break off video games for a while and stuff like that, so I want to do another fan fiction reading by the Lost Narrator, so I don't know who the story's by yet. I will probably say at the end of the video, but, um, uh, this one's called Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash Go Drinking, and I figured it's a, actually a comedy romance, um, fan fiction, and I actually want to see where this goes, so, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Fluttershy took a long, slow swig from her mug, relishing the sweet, crisp taste of the apple ale. Draining the mug in a swift gulp, she slammed the mug vigorously down on her coaster and hiccuped, smiling and giggling, bubbly and warm. She licked the foam mustache off of her upper lip, unable to stop smiling, as she gazed longingly across the table to her entourage, Rainbow Dash. She leaned her head on her hoof, twirling the mug around on its corner, blinking slowly. She felt the drink spreading Apple through her Jack bosom, Daniels. filling her with warmth and releasing her inhibitions. Did I ever tell you that you look like a really sexy rain cloud? She asked Rainbow suddenly, feeling the drunken blush dust her face. Rainbow put down her simple soda and looked sternly at Fluttershy. Every time you get drunk, she replied flatly. Fluttershy giggled drunkly at her friend's reply, leaning her head on her hoof and swaying slowly from side to side. She waved her hoof airily. You slay me. Rainbow Dash rolled her eyes. Every time she brought Fluttershy out to drink, she ended up trying to flirt with her. The first time had been surprising, and maybe acceptable a little. But Fluttershy never remembered making such a fool of herself, and Rainbow never enlightened her on the subject. She knew her terribly shy friend would be kicking herself for years if Rainbow Dash ever mentioned a single one of the things she did drunk. Rainbow would have rather not have brought her, but she had to. It was a long story, and a lifetime deal Rainbow really tried hard to forget. But with Fluttershy exploiting the deal once or twice every other month, Rainbow could never deny it. It was part of the deal. Fluttershy twirled her mug around once more, and watching happily as it clattered down onto the table. She let out a long awkward giggle at that, and finally sighed, turning back to her partner. You... you never... talk when we go out. She pouted to Rainbow. How would you know? Rainbow asked. You never remember any of this. Fluttershy leaned her head to one side, then back to the other. God damn. You're always talking, though. Rainbow said nothing, only sipping her soda through a straw. It was true that she was refraining from conversation. She knew better from the previous drinking nights. In an awkward attempt to be flirty, Fluttershy reached across the table and plucked the straw from her soda, putting it in her own mug and sucking through it, giving Rainbow a half-lidded stare the entire time. Rainbow Dash counted the seconds before Fluttershy realized she had already emptied her mug. Seven. Fluttershy then pounded her hoof on the table as hard as she could, which wasn't very hard at all, and called out to No Pony in particular, Can I get a refill here? A short time later, her mug was topped off, and Fluttershy happily plunged the straw into it. Rainbow Dash reached over and pinched the straw, saying, I think you've had enough. Hey! Fluttershy immediately argued, blinking heavily in an attempt to focus on Rainbow Dash. Hey! Hey! She picked up the mug and shook it in front of Rainbow Dash's face. You... you see this... He, here? This here is alcohol. Alcohol. She struck. Oh, 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 this is so cringy. Oh god, this is so cringy. Oh god. 
God, that reminds me one time. I have to tell you this story right now. Um, my, me and my friend Boz, you know, I, I was minding my own business. I was playing Skyrim at the time. And, um, Boz comes knocking on the door asking for help. And it found out that our, our friend Nova was drunk off her ass when she came back from her, um, with the rest of the platoon. See, she's one of the few people who are old enough to drink in our platoon. And she, um, came back drunk, and we had to stop her from going running rampant throughout the barracks, and that was, that was a weird experience, and this is what this is reminding me of. Oh, god damn, the things we, I heard her say, I am not going to say right now, it's none of my, I'm not allowed to say it, but, holy crap. Anyway. Dressed drunkenly, finally putting the mug down onto the table. And, and when I drink it, my inhibitions vanish. She blew her hooves apart to emphasize the vanishing of her inhibitions. So if I want to flirt with you, then I'm gonna. Fluttershy, please. Rainbow sighed, resting her forehead on her hoof. You're making a scene. Oh, no. Fluttershy answered, wiggling her bottom out of her seat. I'll show you a scene. She stood up and planted her hooves on the table, wobbling slightly before calling out to the entire bar. Hey, everybody. Don't. Hi. Don't. She held her mug up. Normally, I wouldn't be able to talk to any of you people face to face, but with this stuff. She shook the beverage for emphasis. This stuff lets me talk to all of you. And I, I want to let you all know that, that this mare... She pointed oh, to Rainbow Dash, seated across from her, is ignoring my drunken advances on her. Sounds like the right thing to do. Some pony in the bar called out to her, <laughs> eliciting chuckles from the crowd. Fluttershy scrunched up her face. Uh, Rude. Please stop. She muttered, please stop. and then took a long swig from her mug leaning back further and further until she lost her hoofing and fell backwards, screaming in delight as she felt Rainbow Dash catch her in her hooves. She what looked up at the cyan life? mare and caressed her face with her hoof. Hey, she greeted warmly. How did you get back there so fast? You'd be surprised how sneaky you can be when every pony's looking at the drunken mare. Rainbow pointed out, Elis uh -huh. Uh, god damn it. We gotta think about it. What if that was non-alcoholic the whole time that she was doing this as an act? Sitting even more drunken giggles from Fluttershy. She rolled her eyes and slung the mare over on her back, deciding that it was about time for her to leave. Fluttershy wrapped her hooves around Rainbow's neck giggling as she felt Rainbow's shoulders and haunches moving rhythmically beneath her. She gasped quietly and squeezed Rainbow tighter as she felt the cold outside air nip at her skin. It's cold out here, she observed. You won't be for long, Rainbow assured. I'm taking you home. Aww. Fluttershy pouted, entertaining herself with Rainbow's mane. She felt herself being lulled to sleep by Rainbow's movements beneath her, but decided instead to take one more stab at flirting with Rainbow. She pulled herself closer to Rainbow's neck, brushing Rainbow's mane out of its way and leaning close to her ear. Hey, she whispered. I'm going to start kissing your neck as a sign of my, as a sign of my, my sexual availability. Except, I don't know how to kiss, so it might just be me drunkenly slobbering all over your fur. She then moved her nose to Rainbow's neck, 
gently planting what she thought was a string of passionate kisses on her fur. But to Rainbow, it felt more like Fluttershy was licking her like a dog. She tried to ignore her, but after a few moments, she found herself biting her lip involuntarily. She pushed Fluttershy back, much to her drunken dismay. Fluttershy weakly flailed her hooves out, whining drunkenly. Rainbow was just glad to have reached Fluttershy's home by now. She didn't know how much longer she could resist Fluttershy's inhibited stupor. She walked up the steps and opened the door, resist. making her way across the living room and up the stairs to Fluttershy's bedroom. Soon the night would be all over and Rainbow could go home. She carefully peeled Fluttershy off of her back and laid her down on the bed, sighing when she saw Fluttershy curl up into the comforter on the bed, seemingly going right to sleep. She turned around and headed back across the room, all ready to leave. Oh. Fluttershy suddenly called out in what she probably thought was a sultry voice. I'm just a poor helpless mare all alone in my big empty house. I sure hope I don't get taken advantage of by any sexy rainbow mares who stumble upon me in my Oh god. Oh, I'm of the love of fandoms. Rainbow turned around and saw Fluttershy lying down on the bed, clearly oh. trying to appear seductive. Back curved, eyes half closed, and focused on Rainbow Dash. A drunken blush was spread across her face, and a cute little smirk was on her face. Rainbow furrowed her brow. Good night, Fluttershy. She asserted, turning back around. She stopped in the doorway when she heard Fluttershy sniffling behind her. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. She turned around and saw Fluttershy looking at the ground, chin trembling and hooves twiddling. Rainbow's eye twitched as she held back her emotions, but finally gave in and walked back over, giving Fluttershy a simple kiss on the forehead. Good night, Fluttershy. She said, gentler. Fluttershy giggled, lowering her eyelids, and finally went snoring away. Rainbow Dash sighed in relief, turning around and leaving for the last time. As she walked out the door, she stopped and peeked back into the room, saw Fluttershy snoring sweetly away in her bed, and flicked off the light, gently closing the door behind her. <laughs> okay, I do, uh, here's this. Here's the fun thing, guys. You know the army really hates this kind of behavior. You know that, like, uh, hey, well, particularly um, taking advantage of someone who is drunk. They really hate that. So I would say this is the this was actually um, a nice little. Um, who was it by? It's Sissa right here. Um, uh. Large Eye Rainbow Dash Go Drinking, written by Mr. Penguin. Ah, Mr. Penguin. Link in the description. Um, you'll find this, I guess. Um, wow. Well, um, oh, excuse me. Ah. Uh, well then, the, this made my made me blush like all the. Uh, 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 Carry can't English whatsoever. But seriously, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, please stop. Oh my god, I'm looking at the, like, the next set of videos. There's Ponytails. No P fanfic reading Cider Shy by Sil Cilia. By the Scribbler Produ um, the video is by Sk Scribbler Productions. I'm looking at it right now, like, um, 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 like, here, here we go. See, see? Cider Shy. Oh god, look at all these fan fictions. Okay, well, uh, here's a thing, guys. Oh, hey, look, there's Temptation. I did that last time. Um, here's this, guys. If um, you guys want me to do more fan fictions like this, just tell me in the comments. Uh, oh, God, man, my face. What the fuck am I looking at? Twilight and me, full three parts. Oh, God, Twilight Clop. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, then. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, um, very, very, very cringy, uh, fanfiction. Uh.
Oh my god. Oh god. What is what is that to bring back memories? Oh. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later and uh remember to spank that like button. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye bye!